Explain superheroes. I'm not that big of a superhero nerd. I might think Invincible and One Punch Man are peak, but I couldn't care less for the Avengers, the Justice League, and MHA. I just don't really vibe with superheroes that much. I'm more into romantic comedies. Rom-coms are the worst category of movie. Rom-coms are, no, no they're not. No they're not. It's just straight romance. Sad romance is the worst. Why do I want to put myself through that? Watching The Notebook, a story about a woman with Alzheimer's that forgets her husband, the love of her life. Like I'm sitting, like I'm sitting there like crying watching this movie. How is that entertainment? It makes me sad. And hey, I like sad moments in movies. I'm not going to lie. The Bullet Train. Did y'all see that movie? And this is a spoiler, but this movie came out four months ago. So fuck you if you haven't seen it. Uh, when the brother died and he, he put the Thomas the Trank Engine sticker on his face, I cried. I'm not going to hold that back. I'm not going to hold that back. I'll get emotional. If there's if there's a really good emotional scene in a movie where they build a character bond and then one dies, I'll cry. I'm not a bitch. I'm not a bitch. To, I, I mean, I am a bitch, but I'm not a bitch about saying it. I didn't cry during Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is a terrible movie. I don't care. It's so boring. It's not fun. It's not fun to watch. It's not... Dude, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's such a bad movie. I It's so overrated. I don't know why people love it so much. It's it's not that good. It's really not that good. Watching this Power Rangers looking fight scene, I thought that, dang, these superheroes are really garbage. And then I thought to do a video of- Bro didn't like Peacemaker? Yo, this is the first time I'm a disagree with Degenerosity, bro. What an L take that is, but he didn't like Peacemaker. Like, let's start off simple with Black Widow and Hawkeye. Now, I've Yo, Hawkeye can go fucking shove a fist up his own ass. He fucking sucks dick. I, yo, and, yo, she's cooler, she's more acrobatic, but even so. Like, why are they a part of the fucking league if they literally have no superpowers? Somebody said Black Widow can get it, though. I'm ignoring you. Like all these two do is shoot and kick. Yet they're on the same team. Yo, with and how he never run out of arrows. And how he never run out of arrows. Uh, what is he just got some infinite pull? But I remember seeing one scene and then every time he runs out of an arrow, it's like, okay, he would have ran out of that shit fucking 30 minutes ago. I remember one scene in one of the Avengers movies, he's standing on top of a building fucking laying fire. On motherfuckers. How many arrows do you think he can hold in the back? 30? Maybe? I started a second YouTube channel, Joe Bart Gaming. Joe Bart Gaming, link in description, pin comment, sub to it. First few videos gonna be a Last of Us playthrough, long one, four part or two hour vids. Then we're gonna do some FFV games, horror videos, funny clips, whatever, you know, whatever I'm feeling. I do a lot of gaming on Twitch, so I said, why not make a YouTube channel for it, since I already have a YouTube channel for the React days. <sighs> Sub to the channel, back to the vid. Thank you. Or a literal god and a talking raccoon. Like, these guys can't compare to these Yeah, nah, Rocket, Rocket is top three. Rocket's top three. A talking, super intelligent raccoon that knows how to manipulate technology very well. Guys, don't get me wrong. Scarlett Johansson can still get this. <laughs> you know what I mean, but can't pay me to watch the Black Widow movie. Like, I bet the main villain of that- I haven't seen it. I'm gonna keep it real, I haven't seen it. ...movie is a purse snatcher. Cause that's how lame Black Widow and Hawkeye are. And since we're on the topic of bozos that don't have any powers, let's talk about Batman. Not yeah, Batman sucks dick. I've never liked Batman. I've always thought Batman was a bad superhero. He doesn't use guns. Oh, what an inspiration. Buddy, just pick up an AK. Pick up an AK with your fucking body armor. You'd- you would kill the joke. You would solve every fucking problem a million times quicker if you just grabbed a fucking AK and shot the Joker in the fucking head. But his only power is basically being rich. But Literally. he's still on the- uh, is, Isn't Iron Man kind of the same thing? Iron Man's cooler, though, because he has that implant in his fucking chest, and he kind of, like, is superhuman in that sense. Um, But, yeah, I, I don't know. I would say they're both just rich, but- Iron Man's, like, super intelligent and rich, whereas Batman's just kind of, like, rich. And it always pisses me off because he's always fighting villains like the Joker and the fat-ass Penguin. And you know why he's always fighting them? Because he doesn't kill them. Like, of course the Joker's going to break out of prison. Are you stupid? Of course he's going to go on another rampage for the sixth time this year because you don't end his life. How many deaths do you think Batman indirectly caused because he never finishes the job? Always letting these villains live and go to prison just for them to break out the next day. This man can beat Superman 
but not the Joker. That makes no sense. And also, even though Batman never kills his villains, but once he sees little Timmy trying to sneak a candy bar into the movie theaters, he's gonna break every single bone in little Timmy's body. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually facts though. He he never he never directly kills the villain, but he'll indirectly accidentally cause the death of like hundreds of people. This man's sense of justice is all over the place. Batman is a certified asshole and he's just a lamer version of the GOAT Tony Stark. But overall I, I wanna call him the GOAT. I wanna call him the GOAT. I think superheroes with no powers are lame, although having no superpowers does suck. I'd much rather be a Hawkeye or a Batman. And then here's all the Marvel fans. Uh, nah, nah, he literally snapped it. Nah, he literally snapped his fingers. Nah, he literally, he literally held the Infinity Gauntlet. Nah, he had every Infinity stuff, and he died, bitch. You know who didn't die? The Hulk. Like, I don't even think the Hulk's that good. But if the Hulk beats your dumb ass, you suck. And you know who really, you know who really grinds my gears? And I'm going to have, I'm going to have a lot of L's here. I'm going to have a lot of L's here. Spider-Man. Oh, love the movies. Love the new movies. Love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Great story. He is a terrible superhero. He is a terrible superhero. Just think about his powers, chat. Think about his powers. What are his fucking powers? He can't shoot webs out of himself like that fucking one jackass. The one who who's the who's the first Spider-Man that I fucking hate? Toby Maguire. Yeah, no, Toby Maguire fucking sucks. But he at least he had webs in him. He needs a fucking suit for webs. All he has is spider senses and the ability to climb walls. And super strength. But not even that good of super strength because he would still get his ass kicked by the Hulk. Not that good. This man can talk to fish and breathe on the water. Be nah, that Aquaman sucked. But the new Aquaman with Jason Momoa is pretty fire. Big whoop. I can hold my breath on the water for two minutes. Call me the new Aquaman. That's how easy it is to take his job. Yo, Ant-Man's the worst, though. That's true. Anyone could... Yo, literally. Ant-Man is worse than Hawkeye and Black Widow. Because they have skill. He doesn't have skill. He just has a suit. Anyone could do what he does. He's cool, though. Yeah, he's a cool character. But, like, what the fuck? What villain is doing nefarious acts of evil at the ocean? Sailors? SpongeBob? Nobody, that's who. And the Aquaman meat writers are gonna say, uh, he can talk to fish too. Fish? These niggas? They're fish, they can't think. Not a thought is behind those eyes. I won't lie, controlling sharks and big whales is kind of cool. Like riding a whale would look cool for an Instagram picture. But him being able to control whales is automatically canceled out because his superhero costume. Like, come on, man. You automatically trashed here wearing that. At least Batman got drip. And this man eats at the chum bucket. Like, there ain't no defending this man. He's Aquaman. Who cares about Aquaman? Aquaman sucks. Ain't no defending him. And now I'm gonna move on to something that's even worse than Aquaman. My Hero Academia. I w Yo, I used to be the biggest anime hater ever. But if you're about to flame, if you're about to flame, okay, nah, 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 I will have the agreement that in MHA, it's, it's like Batman where they don't kill the villains. And I fucking hate that. Like, why can't you just fucking murder? Why can't you just fucking rip all for one's fucking head off? If he's about to shit, like, lame superheroes, like, yeah, you could say maybe All Might's a bit lame. But, like, and Deku. But, like, Todoroki and fucking Bakugo are fire as fuck. And I hate anime. Or I hate an anime. But, like, I like I like MHA. I'm not, like, some MHA dick rider. Like, one of those motherfuckers that's gonna cosplay as Deku. But, like, no, MHA's a good, a good anime. I will say MHA does have some shitty superheroes. Specifically... 
He's in the best, if you've never watched MHA, it's basically like a high school for superheroes, but the best superheroes. And they're all going to become like mega famous, super great people, right? His power is throwing grapes that are sticky from his head. When he fights somebody, he does this. And they stick, they're bouncy for him. But they stick to everybody else. And they, they make that clear every episode. They stick to everybody else. But me, I just bounce right off of them. And he's also a pervert. And so that, it, like, it's just the weirdest character ever. If he, uh, DeGenerosity should mention him. Because he's, like, the worst character in the fucking, in the show. But it makes it more entertaining because he's so fucking stupid. Watched all four seasons of this shit. Didn't watch season five because I heard it deviates from the manga and it sucks ass. But I've seen enough of it to see some of the worst heroes ever. Yeah, but they also have some of the best heroes ever. Like Tailboy over here. Yeah, now Tailboy can suck a dick. Tailboy fucking sucks, dude. With his power being he has a huge pee pee coming out of his booty hole. He can't be a good hero with a cork like that. And this girl who can suck herself up into her body like a turtle. Like, you already know how I feel about turtles. But honestly, what use does this cork have when <laughs> fighting a villain? What can she do? She can't fight with that quirk, and she can't really defend either. Like, why is she even trying to be a hero? And it's not even just her. Like, look at this background of students trying to be a hero. This man got a whole Lego ass. Bro, they just have those as extras. Bro's probably, bro's probably his power is literally erasing. He looks like a fucking eraser. This dude's long, like, what is he gonna do? Headbutt them from 10 feet away? And... That's just Gary the Snail over there. I'm 100% positive. Bro, I've never looked at the background characters in MHA. They all look so fucking stupid. These guys are used as meat shields. They have no other use other than that. And with quirks like these, I don't oh, understand no. why. <laughs> the grape kid. And dude, he looks like, what is his outfit? Bro, it looks like a diaper. One guy already does it. And we've seen it works. So why not everybody else do it? The only answer I could find is... Oh, Japan got strict gun laws. But when you have dudes that can disintegrate people, burn down an orphanage, and blow up a school with their bare hands, you might as well legalize guns at that point. Like, that world would be a much safer place. Shoo, if I was a hero in that universe, I would only use guns. I would go by hero name, Nigalicious. <laughs> AK-47. Last up. <laughs> AK-47 is his quirk. He just carries around a gun. He's just a regular guy. They really messed up here. And this is all real, just to let you know. So in 1977, DC wanted a comic starring a black superhero because Marvel already had a few and DC was behind with being progressive. So they made this superhero called the Black Bomber. Now, this superhero is a white racist man and one under stress, and also he can do it on command. He turns into a nigga, a big black. This is real? Black man, his superpower is turning black and he's white and racist. You can't make this shit up, bro. This is the superhero y'all try to be progressive with. This guy, like, I don't even know what he can do with this power, because I can't even find the full comic strip to read. But yeah, this is the opposite of being progressive. What is this? What does the comic say? I only have my powers when I turn black. Or should I say African American? Oh, who the hell wrote this? Oh my god. What's happening, baby? Meet the brown bomber. Reason number 2000 why Marvel is better than DC. And those are some of the lame superheroes out there. Despite what I said about Batman, I'm gonna still watch the new Batman movie. Nah, the new so Batman movies, like, I'm not saying the movies are bad, but, like, the heroes themselves are just kind of dumb. Like, some of them, it's just like, okay, well, like, you're, you're making the assumption that they he couldn't just shoot the Joker in the face. If I can't have Zendaya, then I might as well have Zoe. She's my next best option. And that's kind of all I wanted to say. So, in conclusion, the Discord server is live. Fuck, is this, is this all about the Discord? And sleep. Well, you care? That was a good-ass video, though. I'll hit that with a like.
That was a W, Ben. All right.